I think it's fair to say that I had a pretty unconventional start. I, uh, as a kid, I, I, I was thrown out of two high schools, and I quit. Uh, and I made some bad decisions and wound up in some criminal legal problems as a, as a young kid. And to be in your early, early 20s and to have uh, so many strikes against you, like I, I wasn't from a rich family, uh, I didn't have a high school diploma, and I had legal issues looming over me. But I remember one day I said, I, I don't care about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the things that I need, and I try to do it the right way. And I ended up making tons of money. I was very good at manifesting. Uh, and my last company I sold for about 90 million bucks. And uh, I remember being so unhappy, uh, probably the, one of the lowest points in my life. I was borderline suicidal. I drank an enormous amount and I, had a, I was an unfaithful guy. I had a, a Demerol problem where I was injecting Demerol every day. And yet I still managed to ma manifest just about anything that I want. And that even made me more sad because it was like I was in a cycle where I figured out something about the universe that some people don't figure out. And yet the hole in myself was so big that I was suicidal. And uh, a lot of people say that as a figure of speech, but I truly mean it. That's the state that my life was in. And uh, <clears throat> one, one evening, uh, I was laying on the couch and I had a syringe sticking out of my arm and one of my sons came downstairs and I believe that they saw that. And uh, I was drunk too. And I saw a commercial and I, I went to, uh, uh, to a rehab center because it was over. And, uh, and I went there and I, it was my first chance to understand a little bit about metaphysics. And I, I got into it and I really loved it and it really made sense to me. And then that led me to, to do some plant medicine. And from the day that I did plant medicine, my life changed and I had such clarity. And, uh, and, but I was a very wealthy guy. And, and I took a look at all those things and I said, well, what are the things over this two year period that, that made such a change and that, that the final piece of it was the plant medicine. And I said, well, what were those things? And I said, oh, one of them was, I did a 10 day hydroclonic cleanse. Uh, the other one is I learned to meditate. The other thing is I was exposed to uh, Reverend Michael Beckwith and his teachings. And then plant medicine on top of it. And I said, you know, I'm going to have to do this for people that can't afford what I, the way that I did it cost, I think, $700,000 in that, in that neighborhood. And I said, I have to do this for people. It, it can't only be for rich people. It has to be for all people. And then to make it for all people, I said I have to buy a center, and in that center, I have to do all these things, the cleanse, the plant medicine, the organic food, uh, the yoga, the meditation, and the, and the life advancement stuff in one place during one stay, and I have to do it for less than a Club Med, uh, and, and it cost me a fortune to bring this, this whole place about, but, but that's what I did because it truly is in my heart. To, to do this for people because I want to see people walk in like me then and walk out a happy person. And it can happen, and it can happen in no time. There's a shortcut to this thing, and the shortcut is the truth. And it's getting to that truth that these things help you to get to. So I made it my life's mission to, to show people who want change in their life, not people who don't, but people who want change, that, that it's easy. And it's, it's, it's as hard as you want to make it or it's easy as you want to make it. And it really is easy. And, and when I see a lot of these people that are out trying to manifest things and they're, they're learning from people who are getting their own dreams met by selling them programs on manifestation. They never did it on their own. They're making money by their, their teaching other people how to manifest that they haven't done it themselves in their own life. And I thought, this is ridiculous because half the stuff that's being said is a lie. And I said, I got I to gotta do this and, and explain to people, you know, how this thing is done. And, and I don't want to do it and make money from it. I already made my money. I want to show people how I did that 
and, and show them that there's a way you can do it and, and have it not lose your soul, not lose yourself at the same time. There really is, there's a way to do it. And, and there's even a greater question of, of what should I be doing? What's my life's purpose? And, and when you find that out first, and I can do this with anybody, I can get you to find that out and then show you how to do it, then you have a, a, a whole program that you can go on with your life. And plant medicine's a key to that. It's a big key to that. And that's why I built Rhythmia Life Advancement Center.